All right, folks, uh, Keith Johnson here. Just want to do a quick little supplement to my last video on Professor Doom, which is this one here. You should find it easy enough on my channel. And for this debunking, uh, we're going to be playing clips from Professor Doom's January 17th offering, Sandy Hook. I was, in fact, debunked, but offer the smoking gun in return. Uh, now, I hadn't planned on doing a part two. I felt I pretty much covered all the bases. In fact, the only thing I didn't address was what I consider to be a very irrelevant observation Doom made about yellow vests. Now, according to him, emergency workers spotted wearing these vests in the vicinity of Shees was indicative of a drill. Now, I felt this claim was so ridiculous that it shouldn't even be dignified with a response. I mean, we can find endless examples of emergency workers wearing yellow vests at the scenes of real life crises. I mean, here's just one example. Regardless, after I uploaded my video, Professor Doom stopped by and posted this comment, quote, you didn't show the DHS SUV with the yellow vest hanging off the back. So you intentionally left that out because you know it reinforces what I claim. But it is okay. We all know you are the agency call boy. I hear them now calling you to drop them and grab your ankles. Best go do what you do best and make them happy. All right. Well, uh, Doom has put me in a position where I am forced to humiliate him once again. So um, just remember, Professor, you asked for it. Anyhow, uh, what sparked Doom's imagination about the yellow vest was what he read in this article from July 2013 about a active shooter drill at a school in Wyoming. Uh, let's listen in. Several of the neighbors of the school also showed up at the site before the exercise began to find out what was happening with all the people wearing bright orange and yellow vests and vehicles at the closed school. Mm. I'm not saying it means a lot, but there happens to be a lot of fire departments here. Instead of them just wearing just their regular jacket, they have yellow vests on Yellow vest, yellow vest, yellow vest. More yellow vests right here, as you can see. <laughs> Okay, so after that segment, he uh, veers off into another topic, but then returns to it later on. Now, in this next clip, he's going to be referring to this DHS SUV, or rather, one like it. And it helps if you've uh, watched my last video on this subject, and those who have uh, should have no trouble following along. Anyway, uh, Doom argues that the occupants of that vehicle, uh, which he claims is a DHS vehicle in this clip, uh, must have been participating in the so-called drill. Otherwise, uh, they would not have a yellow vest draped over the top of the rear passenger side corner panel. Uh, let's uh, hear him go on. Did you guys it. see that right there? You see this blue stripe coming right up here? You see that blue stripe going right there? Right there. It's got a yellow vest, as a matter of fact, hanging off the back of the SUV right there. See it? And it's got writing right here. That is a Homeland Security blue stripe right here. There, it will say federal police right here. Federal uh, police pr uh, protection, police, whatever, police protection right there. See it right there on the door. See it? Yeah, we, we do see something yellow. Uh, now, remember, according to Doom, yellow vest means drill. But as you're about to see, even if that were the case, it doesn't matter because that ain't no vest. Now, the one who deserves credit for making this discovery is Marie over there at the Sandy Hook Hoaxers Are Not Bright Facebook page. She made a whole post over there if you want to read it. All I have done is made it easier for you all to see what she's talking about. Okay. What you're about to see is what I put together. Uh, this is a clip from Doom's video where he says here, that is a DHS vehicle blue section on back door, yellow vest hanging off back. That's... Uh, the white vehicle uh, right there that he points to that he says a DH vehicle, that's the yellow vest, or that's what he says is the yellow vest. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, back this up a little bit, and we're going to move it up to the corner there and bring up another picture. This is the same corner. This is Riverside Road and Sunnyview Terrace. Okay. A lot better picture. Okay. That's what he says is the yellow vest hanging off the back of the vehicle, but it's not. It's a street sign, as you can see. It's an optical illusion because of the angle of the shot. That's the white vehicle. He says a DHS vehicle. That's the DHS vehicle behind those bushes, or what he says is a DHS vehicle. That's, there you go. That's a telephone pole. That's a telephone pole. Okay, right below it. That's the telephone pole. 
Uh, see that uh, tailgate right there of that silver pickup truck? Right there, silver tailgate. See the back window of that pickup truck with those three stickers? Right there, three stickers in the back windshield of that pickup truck. Okay, now see that silver vehicle, that emergency vehicle? Right there below it. Same one. Okay, see that black SUV? It's behind those firemen right there. Black SUV. Okay, there's the uh, <laughs> pole that's holding up the street sign. There's the street sign and that same pole. Same corner. Okay, so that's an emergency vehicle to the right of the white vehicle. That's the emergency vehicle, silver in color in both shots. Okay, all right. So let's see if we can. Uh, enhance this a little bit uh, for you see that uh, what he says is the yellow vest it's not it's a yellow street sign see if we can get a better shot of it it's uh, you're seeing at the side of it so you can't see but we're going to see a better picture of it here in a second here we go that's a uh, riverside road and sunnyville see that that's the uh, street sign yellow street sign that's a telephone pole that's the black suv all right now we're going to bring that other picture in here <laughs> to show you all right see the yellow vest no not a yellow vest it's a yellow street sign there's the pole that holds up the yellow street sign okay there's the telephone pole same one right there in the picture below it okay there's the uh, emergency vehicle and the pickup truck with the stickers in the back window you see those stickers in the back window there now these two shots were taken at different times of day obviously there's that street sign. Okay, uh, there's the street sign. Again, unmistakable. Oops. Unmistakable. There's the vehicles now. I'm not uh, sure if that's even the vehicle uh, that he's claiming it to be. But uh, as you can see, it's a street sign, not a vest. Okay, uh, so uh, now that we've determined that the vehicle is parked in a grass field across the street from the fire station, let's replay Doom's hilarious conclusion about this sighting. The only reason that Department of Homeland Security Federal would even be there is if they are the ones who are running this exercise. Really, so they're running this exercise from across the street, that far away from the action, in a spot that would indicate that they actually came much later after all these vehicles took up all that space. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, just for laughs, uh, Professor, can you give us that conclusion just one more time? Thanks. The only reason that Department of Homeland Security Federal would even be there is if they are the ones who are running this exercise. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul.